What's up guys, my name is Taylor and I'm here on behalf of Ilio to show you my five favorite rock amplifiers inside of the THU plugin. Let's get started. Okay, before we get into the amplifiers, I just wanna mention a couple things here. I'm using the super cabinet for the cabinet section and uh, we have two instances of the Overloud Fried B412 IR. One of them is with a U87 and the other one is with an R121. You can see the settings here. And then we're gonna be boosting all of these amplifiers with the S-Drive 1, which is based off the Boss SD-1. The first amplifier we're gonna look at has actually quite a few instances in THU, and it is the Randall Lynchbox amplifier. All of the Randall amplifiers inside the THU plugin are licensed, which just helps add to the authenticity and how awesome these amplifiers are recreated in this format. And uh, the one that we're gonna load up here is the Randall Lynchbox Grail. If you're not familiar with the Randall Lynchbox amplifiers, essentially they are amplifiers that are modular that you can load different preamps into. And uh, this one is based off the Grail preamp, and this is what it sounds like when you first load it up. Sounds pretty great, but um, you know what? Let's dial this here a little bit. Let's turn on this bright switch. Maybe dial back on this bass. Bump the mids, bump the treble. And let's see what that gets us. Sounds pretty awesome. I really like how the top end articulates in this amp and you can hear all the notes separately. It just sounds really cool. And another thing that I really like about this amplifier is that you have a density control over here and let me show you what that does. So if I turn the density all the way down to zero, you get something like this. And if you turn it all the way up to 10, you get something like this. So it just adds a ton of low end and thump into your sound. And uh, I like to dial it somewhere around seven, maybe right about there. An amp that doesn't need a ton of work to get it into really awesome hard rock territory. I really like this one a lot. Next, we're gonna look at the Slow 88 Lead, which is based off a Soldano X88R. And this amp is really simple. There's not a lot to it. And this is what it sounds like when you load it up. Let's dial that in a little bit. So don't be afraid to crank up the drive on this amp and the bass. Let's turn up the mids, the treble. Let's turn up the volume all the way and turn back the level a little bit. Sounds pretty cool. We can also open up the settings here and if we want a little bit of a different character, we can swap out the preamp and the power tubes. I'm gonna put some KT88s in this guy and see what that sounds like. Let's actually turn up the treble a little bit. Really great rock tone, really great articulation. I really like adding KT88s into amplifiers in real life and in plugins when I have the opportunity. The next one we're gonna look at and what would any rock amplifier list be without a JSAM 800? And in the THU plugin, we are gonna load up specifically the 2210 model. This is what it sounds like when you load it up. <laughs> Let's just start cranking this thing all the way up and uh, see what happens. We'll probably put it somewhere about there. Pretty awesome. Let's open up these settings again. And this amp comes with EL34 tubes just as it would in real life, but let's put 6L6s in it. And then let's turn up the bass, dial back this treble a little bit, maybe bump the presence. Yeah. 
it's just a really cool iconic amplifier and you know for good reason it sounds really excellent and has a lot of variability especially when you put a boost in front of it okay and another amp i want to throw into this list is the dv mark marigold distortion these models are also licensed so they're incredibly authentic to the original versions of the amps that they're emulating this is what it sounds like when you load it up <laughs> Let's dial that in a little bit here. It does have a little bit too much low end. We'll dial that back a little bit. We'll bump the mids, bump the high. You know, it's really interesting to me that the presence knob is right in the middle. Let's turn this thing all the way up and see what that does to it. Sounds really good, man. Here, we'll turn that all the way down for some perspective. I really like that with the presence cranked up like that. It really cleans up nicely. The last amplifier we're going to look at on this list shouldn't be a surprise to anybody. Pretty much the most iconic rock amplifier of all time, and that is the Plexi. Pretty much instant rock and roll tone right away when you load it up there. But uh, let's get crazy with this. Let's just turn the bass all the way up. Let's turn the mid somewhere around there. Uh, we'll turn the treble up quite a bit, leave the presence, crank the volume, dump this level a little bit, and we get something like this. Pretty iconic rock tone. And of course, you can always turn up the drive on the SD1 and get a little bit more grit out of it. All right, what do you guys think about the amplifiers on this list? Do you agree with me? Are there any amplifiers that I missed that should have been on this list? Definitely let us know down in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.